Las Vegas. Police report an estimated one million dollars in cash was stolen from a casino there. The money was reported missing approximately 2 a.m. yesterday morning, along with a small grave. Excuse me! Excuse me! Alberto Patoli, owner of the casino. Looking for a hand bill. Was in the right place. They're near stay around here. 60 miles. You'll see it when you get there. Someone just picked it up and had a short break. Where the hell am I anyway? On Capitol Hill, the President's health bill came under attack again. White House sources say the heat will continue until the referendum can be reached. What's going on? What'd you say? What's the trouble? Me and my wife were driving along, and we came across that Chrysler over there. So what's the fuss? Let the sheriff tell him if he wants to, Mandy. You shouldn't be saying anything. So wait a minute. What we'd like you to do is have you go with Trooper Lee down to the station and give us a statement. Then we can send you on your way. Okay. Where are you coming from? Traveling through San Diego. From where? Carson City. Well, I got a strong piece of advice for you. Keep going straight through. At least till you get to the interstate. Don't stop to make any new friends. How's that? Yeah, homicide in the trunk of that car. You don't even want to think about it. Yeah.
not too neighborly, are you? I said, you're not too neighborly, are you? I beg your pardon. You got a kink about watching people fry in the desert? Hey, look, I didn't see you out there when I did. It was too late. I'm sorry. How the hell did you get out there anyway? Look, let me buy you lunch. It's, I mean, it's the least I can do. I look like a goddamn used tire. It's on me, so have whatever you want. I don't know your name. Adrian. Your friend for life. How the hell did you get dumped in the middle of nowhere? Fella in a big rig picked me up. About when you passed me. But he got a little too devoted, you know what I mean? So you got out? Looks that way. You're a fag. I don't mean any offense if you are. I mean, if it weren't for homos, none of us fellas would ever get a ride. I found enough miles to know that. Is that right? Yeah. A fella in a fancy suit must have a name. Jack. You know, Jack, I can usually tell in about two minutes all I need to know about a person. Like what? Like, is he a loser? Does he shoot double? Does he like to wear ladies' underwear? You're telling me you're a psychic or that you like to look at people's pants? You're a funny guy, Jack. Here we go. Coffee? <coughs> Iced tea? Do me a favor, would you? One of you boys stole that million dollars, leaving it to be theft all right? What million dollars is that? That case of money from the Vegas casino. Keep him passing right through you. Is that all right? Deputy says so. Says if he's smart, he's headed for the airport with his head on swivel. Swivel. Why is that? Got to lose all that mob money. Ooh. Not much a person wouldn't do for a million dollars, huh? I wouldn't know, but uh, I'd like to hear more from you about that. You made an order. What do you think about that, Jack? Hear what uh, Patsy here says she'd do for a million dollars? Anything. I didn't say that. Did, did, did I misunderstand what's being said, Jack? You made an order, you let me know. I love women to take orders. You know what? I could have your ass thrown out of here. Jingle bells, anything you want to do with my ass is fine with me. Hey, right, come on now, Jingle bells. What are you doing? You got a problem with the way I handle myself, Jack? No, I just want to know what the hell you think you're doing. You got something to be nervous about? I just like to lay all my cards on the table. I told you once, Jack, I can tell about people. What you got in there? Huh? Papers from the front office? Executive memos you're loyally carrying across the state line? I don't think so. No. You just sit tight a minute while I go right or wrong.
officials are not willing yet to comment on the possibility of serial killings. Speaking of the state line, the theft of what is now estimated to be close to one and a quarter million dollars in cash from the Botticold Casino in Las Vegas continues to be headlines. Reports confirm the money was in a briefcase that was left momentarily. Uh... Join the picnic, sir. You're kidding me. Tank a jackknife five miles up the interstate. The junction is closed off for cleanup. What is it, for crime they say? Plutonium? It's gonna be a while, it's a chemical spill. You know what's behind you? There's food and lodging in Watson. I just came from there, yeah. That's all you've got within 50 miles, or you can join the block party. Check that shit out.
bad time, Jack? I brought you something. What? Jack! I figured you'd be long gone by now. Must have lost your appetite in a big hurry, huh? I'd hate to think it's because... I mean, you can see what an unfriendly place the world can be. What are you doing? You got no place to sleep, Jack. You crazy. I'll tell on you, Jack. I'll tell everybody what you got in that briefcase. Don't worry. I'm a man with a secret to myself. Jack, there are two places they send people for having too good a time. One is church, the other is prison. I've been time in both, Jack. Enough time to know true boredom. And boredom is its own kind of misery now, isn't it, Jack? And boredom is why we look for that thrill. And when we find it, we take it. And while we're wondering, what the piss on ourselves a laugh. We're getting off. Hey, Jack. I read you. I read you, man. Repression is a dangerous thing. It's deadly. Hard trouble. 
How long since you had your plugs cleaned? How long since you had plugs? You don't get it, do you, Jack? I got your license number. And I got the best damned eyewitness description of you on this highway. So the first time I see these taillights taken off down the road, priority one, Jackie boy is an anonymous call to the nearest state trooper. You don't think I'd do it? Try me. Get out of the goddamn car. You in? I sell paper products. What, like plate? Paper plate? Straws and shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's a fella in paper products take home anyway? Nothing to say to you. Careful now. Don't bust your ass climbing up to that higher moral ground. What do you think I am, Jack? The devil. What are you, anyway? Just some angel got a little tarnished around the wings? No, 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 honey, I'm not trying to sound uh, mysterious. I'm just still in the middle of dust on nowhere. Yeah, yeah, I've done nothing this time out. No. Uh, my credit card's over the limit. That's right. I'm selling nothing. Email is putting us right out of business. Floppy disk. It's, it's just driving me crazy, too. So, I, well, yeah, well, yeah. Not those sprinklers. I can just go, away. go out back there so I can get home. I'll figure it all out with you, okay? Is there a problem? Is this your car? No. Then it's not your problem. Check out the rainforest, you know, before they cut it all down. It's my girlfriend, Dahlia. Hi. Excuse me, I'm gonna bust. Hi, I'm Adrian. My uh, friends call me Dusty. Dusty, it's a pleasure meeting you. Wait, wait. Hold on a second. You got a water hose needs replaced. 
That's a brand new company car. You're the boss. I gotta hang up. I gotta go, honey. Bye. Hey, you been keeping your ear to the radio? There's some kind of a nut running around cutting people up itsy bitsy pieces. You heard about it? What are you telling me? Where'd you find that thing? According to radio, this ain't the best time to be filling out your dance card if you know what I'm talking about. I just had those hoses replaced. Yeah, I was telling you what I heard. Now, you want that hose or not? No. Jackie boy. Now, here are some people who know how to travel. This is Gerald and his very fine lady, Dahlia, who I've seen this country the only way there is to see it. This is Jack the We have to go. What? Well, we're late, we're late, we're late, we're late. Hey, Jack, what are you talking about? I thought maybe we could something eat with him. I mean, you're a little hungry, aren't you, Jack? No. There's comfort. We're not that late, Jack. We're not that late, Jack. Change. Jack. Catch you later. All right. Yeah. Okay, nice to meet you. See you later, Jack. Go ahead. Lovers? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Talk to me, Jack. We all look right together, get it? What? Everyone within a hundred miles knows about the hatchet man and the goddamn money. Do you understand? What did I say to you back then? What do you think, I'm some dumbass old man that you can drag around on your psycho suckle jerk? Jack, I was looking to do a little business, all right? Gerald and Dolly got a traveling pharmacy in that old van. I want some. Yeah, that's too bad. Because if you want to go with me, you might as well throw that syringe out the window. My rig don't fly out the window, Jack. Get out of my car. Don't hurt my feelings, Jack. Get out of my car! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Feel better now, Jack. If we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this my way. You get that? I got it. Drive on, Jackie boy. Shut up some talk. That's Willie, our tarantula. You poisonous? Not one bit. They just look it. Oh, sweet Jesus. This is Victor, our boa. He's a big old boa. Oh. Wow, what about this fella? That's our Gila. Gila monster. You poisonous? <laughs> well, yes. Digestive tract is so slow. Waste that stuff inside him. Makes your venom toxic. So what are you talking about there, Arles? He's so full of shit, he's poisonous. <laughs> Sinks his teeth into you. They don't let go. They're like vice grips. 
That's just to make sure that venom gets into your bloodstream. Keep the change. Thanks. Miss me? Come on, Jack. Let's head on down that long, lonesome highway. Hey, Jack, you ever hear the phrase dead man walking? They use it in prison, you know what it means? On death row, whenever any of the boys get escorted anywhere, the guards all yell, dead man walking. Every gun in the joint gets cocked, shoot, shoot. Everyone stops what they're doing, they grab a piece of the wall, and they let the man pass. You know why? Because he could slit your throat. And all they could do is shoot him. And so what? He's already dead. That's me, Jack. That's how I feel all the time. Oh, yeah. This is for you. It's a souvenir from the creepy crawling zoo. You gotta respect who I am, Jack. What I bring to this little relationship. See, I'm crazy, Jack. I am the dead man walking. You're an idiot. Sounds spooked there, Jack. Doesn't Jack sound spooked? Get rid of it. You are not seeing my position here. Now speed up, you're slowing down. I said speed up, Jack. Jack, give it the gas. Crazy motherfucker. I want to know you respect me, Jack. That's all. Okay, Jack. Okay. See you around here again. Don't play me, Jack. You know what I am, and I know what you are. That ain't never gonna change. You get us out of here if you kill both of us. <laughs> Let's go, Jack. Check it with the program. And tonight, the program is fun. Oh, man, Jackie boy, look at that. Fun, fun, fun tonight. No. What? You can't. We've already been seen with enough too much already. Jack, there ain't even a prairie dog awake out here. What's wrong with you? Get back in the car. Why are you trying so hard to convince yourself you're having such a bad time? I don't not care at all what you do with those people. Don't do it, Adrian. Please don't do this. 
Please don't do this. We're partying, Jack. You got that? Mm. We're partying. Taking my pulse, but nothing's there. They call an ambulance. And two paramedics later, I am on my way to the county hospital to get a tag on my toe when I sit up and ask for a Snickers bar. No. Oh, get out. Get out. Yeah, I'm telling you. See, I had done so much shit. I had shocked my system so badly that my vital signs, they dropped to nothing. Put me in a coma. Now... What makes you want to go to the edge like that? No, I thought you knew, baby doll. The edge is where it's at. So, how much of uh, this and that other have you got exactly? How much we got to lot? You traveling with that kind of money? Might be. What about your partner? What about him? He makes me nervous. Nah, no, don't worry about Jack. He's just strange. I'm gonna go for a walk. She likes you, man. What are you telling me about it, Jack? Well, I'm saying that. Uh, Dolly, she's her own woman, you know. She, uh, she does what she wants. And you got nothing to say about it. Mm. Well, don't do that, you know. So, what do you do? You want to go to the edge with Dolly? Then you gotta do it her way. And, uh, what way is that? It's the more the merrier, you know. Daryl doing it either. Really? Not the heroin, I mean. It's just a high he can't reach anymore. Then why let him try? I don't know. I don't tell him what to do. We have a purple aura. Purple and yellow, I, I can see it change. That's the conflict. I'm not joking. There's some kind of terrible trouble. Well, I felt your own nice. Decided that we were family because we both had the same aura. You don't know what a family is. How could you do the things you do and be a family? Well, what do you mean? I mean, get away from me. You take Gerald and you get that one away. Jerry? Jerry? We're leaving. What? We're leaving right now. We're getting out of here. But Floyd, come, come here. We are going. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> what do you think you are doing, Jack? I'm dead. Going back to the motel. Bullshit! You tried to scare her. You tried to scare them both away, you asshole. This is it, Jack. This is what, Jack? We're done. We're not done. We're just starting. <laughs> you think this is coincidence, our past crossing like this? We attracted each other. We were like magnets, Jack. The two of us collided in time, bound together by our own little secrets. You think this is coincidence? I'm going back to my motel room. I want you to come with me. I think you're lying, Jack. I think you want a party. You're just afraid you might like it. <sighs> you be careful now. You be real careful. This is what you want to do. Adrian, listen to me. Let's just get out of here now. You think you can take me, Jack? 
Come on with it. This is wrong. You want to get bloody with me, Jack? Come on with it. This is a mistake. It's a mistake. Putting your hands on me like that was a mistake. You think you know right from wrong? You think you know what that is? You got as much right to moralize as Jack the fucking river. Go back to the motel, Jack. We have to go away, Jack. You're scaring these kids. I want you to come with me. Adrian. Catch up with you later, Jack. Adrian, don't do this. Adrian. We need to talk. No, we don't. Adrian. Join the party, Jack. Good boy. Close the door, Jack. Thought about you, Jack. Could you feel it? Jack. Christ almighty. Mm. What you trying to do to yourself? I'm going to take a shot so we get out of here.
does this? We can't just keep wandering down the highway. They find that van and they're gonna come looking for us. Now, yeah, bullshit, Jack. Nobody saw us until last night. I don't know that they didn't either. You got a death rush? They didn't do. I, I had no intention of being questioned at some police checkpoint. If you want to, go ahead. Your place? Inherited it. Wanted to sell it. And Carol and I stayed out here. Fell in love with it. It's the kitchen, bedrooms, bathroom. Our own little fortress. Let me sit. That's all we'll need. Get into trouble out here, you have to come screaming and begging for it. You already coming here? Why aren't you, Jack? Even before I shut up. I'm gonna turn the water on. I'm gonna have to pilot for the heater. You turn the radio on. See now, aren't we? You're cold. Flash, Jack. Ow. Pair of deuces. Oops. And we three kings. You piece of dog shit. You're right. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> you wouldn't be cheating now, would you, Jack? That's a hundred thousand dollars. And you have lost a quarter of a million dollars. Now, how are you going to pay that back? <laughs> Life's a bitch in there, you are, Jack. Get that shit away from me. Time to dip into the girl and got in a moral drug fund. Just get it over with instead of waiting for somebody else to do it. You think I know how I got here, Jack? Well, you don't look like a junkie. So why do I look like Jack? Mr. Everything Comes Easy? Mr. Football Star? Mr. Cat's President? You can look like a prince and still be one trash. Make me sick. You got a problem with me, Jack? You got the problem, kiddo. <laughs> Have another drink, Jack. How many cc's of that nitro you do every day anyway, huh? A hundred? Two hundred? Man, we can live with that, do it. Well, sit back, have another shot, and let me do the same. Shit, what a 
crocodile sleeps. What's he supposed to come along and do? Finish what the first one started. Oh, here he is. Father knows best. Jack, thought that was you. For sake. You know, I couldn't for the world and figure out who the hell would be knocking out here. 
Who scared to you, did I? I'm folks down at the market so I could drive through this afternoon. Uh, uh, how's Carol? Not on this trip. No. Oh, really? Well, listen, there's something I want you to meet. Little David. He's my new deputy. You remember Greg Brewer, deputy sheriff? Big guy, about six foot two. Well, it's his son, David. David is his jack. Good fishing buddy. Sheriff's always looking out for this place, don't you worry. Oh, Very well. Appreciate it. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons I want to buy. Jack, we got to talk. Sure. Uh, hold on a minute. Busy night. Now listen, you've been hearing all that uh, hatchet killer crap on the radio? A little bit, yeah. Well, could be out this way. Hold on, I go way back. Yeah. Sheriff's going to be on vacation for the next three weeks. I just want you to know I take my job very seriously. No one likes to talk about it, but these places are so isolated. They're pretty easy targets for squatters, burglars, what have you. You see? Now that's what I'm talking about. Now, apparently, this nut sunk could be just about anywhere. I mean, they tell me they've got troopers and feds crawling all over the place. You'd be glad you don't have Carol out there with you tonight, Jack. Well, I'm going on vacation this week, so I'm going to tell you when I'm going to have a little day. Now, we usually check these places out about this time. That's the target. See, I, uh, just walked around. I'm not having a How long are you going to be here? Wait till tomorrow. Uh, yeah, what about, uh, about three months ago, was it three months? March was it that far back? Jesus, four months ago, I guess it was four months ago. See, well, I guess it was what it was. Well, anyway, David was, uh, out on patrol. That's on the left side. Yeah, I think he ever thought that was an apparition or something. You know, well, it turned out to Yeah, I get that with you, David. Anyway, people end up doing the weirdest damn things, Jack. I can't tell you. My job gets weirder every day. That's Charlie Juarez. Is. Uh, old Charlie's specialties, domestic disturbances. You see what I'm talking about? I mean, it never stops. Come on, little David. Got a big night of work in here. Oh, uh, Jack, say hello to Carol. I look forward to seeing the both of you the next time you come up. Right. Hey, Jack, you better lock up everything before you turn in tonight. I don't believe in the boogeyman, but he might be out tonight. Let's see you, Jack.
can't kill the devil, Jack. You ought to know that. single body on the face of this shady planet would accept you for what you really are and you try to kill and bury me you're gonna tell me why you do it jack i've been dying to ask you tell me why and i'll tell you how i walked off with all that money from the pot of gold casino spend their whole lives thinking that someone's going to come along and take away all their misery. For a precious few, I am that someone. I like that. Every boy needs a hobby. Didn't want to do me, did you, Jack? I just have one little question for you, Jack. Why do you cut them up Fuck of it. Just a scratch. Hey, Miss Val. Ooh. Say hey, Billy. 